Today, we are going to supercharge your Linux Mint experience. Forget the usual change your wallpaper advice. I'm talking about game-changing steps that will take your Linux Mint to the next level. Yeah, I'll show you some advanced as well as actionable tweaks that will transform your computer. In just a few minutes, you'll learn how to speed up your system performance, boost your internet speed, maximize your laptop's battery life, and so much more. These steps are designed to make a real difference. It's a game changer, trust me. Linux is a powerhouse, and with the right tweaks, you can unlock its full potential. So let's dive in and supercharge your Linux Mint experience. All right, before we do anything here, it's very important that we update the system. Even if you installed a fresh system just now, there will be some patches and updates that we need to get. And while we're at it, let's also configure our system to use the fastest software servers. Open the menu and search for Update Manager, then click on it. Here, you can see the welcome screen, which gives you a general idea of what you can do with the software updater. Read it and click on OK to proceed. Even if you don't see the screen, it's OK. Here, it will show you all the available updates. If prompted to switch to a local mirror, click Yes. You can keep it as it is by clicking on No or switch to a local mirror. If you don't see this banner but you want to switch to local mirrors, you can do it from the Software Sources option here. If you choose to use local mirrors, your system will download packages and updates from the closest and fastest mirrors. App download and system update speeds will be vastly improved, and it's going to save you a lot of time later on. You can change this anytime you want. We're going to click on Yes. Enter your password and click on Authenticate. We have two sets of servers. Here, the first one is for Linux Mint, and the second one is for Ubuntu, which is the base of this system here. Just click on this, and it's going to connect to all the Linux Mint servers worldwide and test their speeds. Give it a minute or two. Once it's done, select the topmost server with the highest speed and click on Apply. Then, do the same for the second option. You get most of your apps and updates from these servers. This can take 10 to 15 minutes, as there are many Ubuntu servers that need to be tested. But you can select the topmost one after 10 minutes, even if the test has not concluded. Then, you need to click here to update the app cache. Click on OK here, enter your password and hit Enter. Give it around 10 to 15 minutes to download and install the latest updates. Once it's done, restart your computer. If you face any issues with the new mirrors, you can use this button to restore the default server settings. Now it's time to install optimized drivers for our hardware and improve the performance. Linux Mint doesn't automatically install proprietary GPU and Wi-Fi drivers like Ubuntu. However, it does provide a very convenient and simple driver manager that lets us do it with a single click. To access the driver manager, open up the menu and search for driver, then click on driver manager. While almost all the hardware drivers are included in the Linux kernel itself, some proprietary drivers like those for NVIDIA GPUs, certain Wi-Fi drivers, and some printers need to be manually installed, and they will be shown in the driver manager. We can see that this system is using an open source driver for my NVIDIA GPU. While this is fine, using the recommended proprietary driver will vastly improve the performance of my system. This performance difference is actually visibly huge. And if you want to do some gaming, the proprietary drivers are absolutely needed. So, I'm going to select the recommended proprietary driver and click on Apply Changes. This will automatically download and install the latest recommended driver for my GPU. If you don't see any options here, that means all your devices are using the best drivers. Nothing more needs to be done. If you have more devices listed, such as Wi-Fi adapters and printers, select the recommended ones for them and click on Apply Changes. Once the drivers are downloaded and installed, the system will ask you to reboot. So go ahead and restart your computer. All right, let's extend the functionality of our Linux Mint and make it more awesome by installing some additional applications. Open up the Software Manager from the menu. I really like Linux Mint Software Manager. It's sleek, simple, but absolutely loaded. We can install software from the Ubuntu software repositories here, and we get flatbacks. With both these repositories, you can install pretty much any software you want directly from this software manager. You'll find utilities, development tools and languages, office stuff, games and entertainment apps, and everything in between. You can also browse apps according to categories here. This lets you explore and discover new and exciting software. Only verified flatbacks from Flathub are shown here. 
This is a security feature, but it also means that many top flatbacks like Spotify, Steam will not be available here. If you want to access those as well, just click here, open preferences, and turn this toggle on. Once you do that, you can install unverified flatbacks as well, but you do get a red warning here. Let's go ahead and install VLC Media Player, GIMP for image editing, Kden Live for video editing, and Parted. You can switch between system packages, that is packages from Ubuntu software repositories, and flatbacks using this dropdown. All right, this one is my absolute favorite. Everybody has some applications that they use more than other applications. Your favorite browser, the IDE you use for development, and many more. Now, Preload is an intelligent daemon running in the background, observing your habits. It learns which apps you use frequently and keeps them primed and ready in memory before you even open them. Let's say you use Firefox browser a lot. When you click on the Firefox app icon, an ample amount of time is needed for the application to be read from the hard disk and loaded into memory. With preload enabled, your computer already knows you use Firefox a lot, so it's already kept in the memory. Click on the icon and bam, there it is. Preload makes your computer very responsive. Just think about it, the computer will have to read and load the application from your hard disk when you click on the icon anyway. Why not do it beforehand itself? If you have 8 gigs or more RAM, Preload will do wonders for your app startup times. It's not magic, it's just very smart tech. But if you think about it, it's very simple. And the best part is, all you need to do is install it. Open a terminal and run sudo apt install preload. That's it. You don't have to do anything more. No configuration, no tuning up. Everything will be automatic. Just continue using your computer. Preload will learn from your usage patterns and adapt, constantly fine-tuning its performance. Your most used apps will become faster and more responsive over time, creating a personalized, turbocharged computing experience tailored just for you. Remember, only the apps you use the most and more frequently will become faster, not all apps. By the way, if you haven't already, Linux Mint's got this cool bottom panel that's the main control hub for everything you do here. Tweaking and optimizing it can make your workflow way smoother and efficient. By default, it comes with a few apps pinned here, but you can easily change things up to suit to your needs. You can remove the apps that you don't frequently use and add your most used applications. Then you can rearrange the order by simply dragging and dropping the icons. This customization allows you to create a bottom panel that better reflects your workflow and preferences. Accessing your apps becomes much quicker this way and app switching gets faster. Here's a pro tip to boost your productivity. You can launch these pinned apps with keyword shortcuts. Just press the super key or Windows key plus the number that matches the app's position. For example, Super Plus 1 opens the Files app. By customizing the bottom panel and using these shortcuts, you can make your Linux Mint experience a lot more efficient. Spending just a few minutes to set up your perfect panel can really pay off in the long run. Now that we have set up our system, it's the perfect time to create our Keystone backup. This one step will save you hours of troubleshooting time and potential data loss, and a lot of headache in the future. Remember, having a solid backup strategy isn't just recommended, it's essential. And there's no excuse for not having a backup. And TimeShift Backup is something that every Linux user must have. TimeShift is a very powerful software. It has the capacity to restore your system from the worst of crashes and mess-ups. It can even restore your operating system, even if you completely delete your system. It's that powerful. And having this enables us Linux users to tinker under the hood and play with the inner workings of Linux without worrying about breaking the system. Now that we have our system set up, it's time to make a backup. TimeShift is already installed and integrated into the Linux Mint system. Let's go ahead and open it. You have two options in the backup type. Keep RSYNC checked and click on Next. It'll estimate your system size. Then you'll be asked to choose the location to store your backup. You can choose any partition, even the partition you've installed the system. But I suggest you format a pen drive to extension 4 and backup to that. That way, even if you literally format your entire hard drive and burn it, you can get back your system to this current state with time shift. I'm not kidding. Click Next. Here you can set up automatic backups. You have various frequencies. Let's set up a monthly backup. That's enough, I think. We are backing up a completely set up system that has all the drivers and all the software we need. Click next here. On this page, click on create. 
This will create a backup of the system, which you can roll back to any moment you want. I want to make it clear that TimeShift does not back up your personal files like your documents, photos, and projects. It can if you want it to, but it's mainly a system backup tool. In case you break your operating system or any future update breaks your system, you can restore your system to this particular moment with TimeShift. It's a great tool, and it has saved my system innumerable times. Now it's time to supercharge your internet speed with an optimized DNS. When you type in a website URL and hit enter, you might have noticed that there's a very short gap before the actual website starts to load. During that time, the actual IP address of the website you requested will be getting resolved. This might take a short time or a long time based on the DNS that your internet provider is using for you by default. Now you might have a very high speed internet. We are not talking about the download or the upload speeds here. Simply put, we are talking about the time it takes to connect to a website. And this can be improved significantly by changing the DNS. We are talking stellar noticeable improvements here. Let's get into it. Click on the connected Wi-Fi icon here. Click on network settings. Click on the gear icon of the Wi-Fi you use here. In the IPv4 section, turn off the automatic toggle. In this text box, Paste the numbers from the description below. Click the Add button and paste the second one as well. Click on Apply. Then we do the same for IPv6 section. We are going to Google DNS which is really good. It's reliable and resolves IP addresses very fast. I've used many custom DNS and Google and Cloudflare DNS tend to work the best. I prefer the Google one. Apply the settings, turn off the Wi-Fi and turn it back on. Enjoy a faster internet. Linux Mint looks gorgeous out of the box as it is, but there are many cool options given here to amp up the looks. Open up the Themes application from the menu here. We have three styles available. Changing this affects how applications, the bottom panel, and the menu look. Mint X is the old Linux Mint theme, while Mint Y is the newest. You can switch between dark and light themes here. The mixed mode applies a dark theme to the desktop elements like the menu while keeping the applications themselves in light mode. Alternatively, you can switch completely to the dark mode, which will apply the dark theme to applications as well. In my opinion, the mixed mode has the best look. You can also change the accent colors from here. The accent colors significantly influence the look of the applications. Feel free to experiment with them. We also have advanced theme settings available. From here, you can customize the theme in a granular way. For example, changing this setting will be applied to the menu and the elements in this bottom panel. You can change the icons, and this will affect the appearance of the applications themselves. Additionally, you can change the cursor theme from here. The cool thing here is that you can install many additional themes by clicking on the Add Remove tab. And here, we have some really cool looks. You can download them from here and apply them from the themes page. I really like the sea black theme. Play around here, you can mix and match different elements from different themes and create a unique look that's personalized to you. If you're on a laptop, one thing you'd surely appreciate is a better battery life, regardless of how good or bad it currently is. Linux distros aren't exactly famous for their battery life, but there's a tool called TLP that can help with this. TLP is a power management utility designed to tweak certain aspects of the operating system and improve the battery life when your laptop is running on battery power. TLP is very powerful and automatically optimizes various background tasks, processor frequency, Wi-Fi, USB, and other power saving modes. It comes with the best configuration for power saving when running on battery and for optimal performance when the laptop is connected to a power source. So all you need to do is install it and it will handle everything by itself. To install TLP, open a terminal and run the command sudo apt install tlp tlprdw. Once installed, TLP will start working its magic in the background, and you should experience an improved battery backup on your laptop. On Linux Mint, the fonts can look pretty small at times. This is mostly not a problem on desktops, but on laptops, especially those with very high resolutions, text can be almost unreadable. There are two ways to tackle this. The first one is fractional scaling. Jump into the display settings and enable fractional scaling from here. You can try to set it to 125% and see how it looks. Fractional scaling on Cinnamon Desktop is still an experimental feature, so it might work for some people, it might not work for some people. It didn't for me. But we have another option here, 
something that works and is a much simpler solution. Just open up the font selection and from there, you can increase the text scaling factor to either 1.1 or 1.2 and it's going to make everything better. In fact, I feel that text on Linux Mint is a tad bit smaller. Even on normal screens, 1.1 feels very comfortable. So yeah, don't squint at text and stress your eyes. Just go ahead and increase the text scaling factor here. Linux Mint's Cinnamon Desktop has phenomenal extensibility. We get a set of add-ons here called Spices, and they let you do some crazy tweaks to your system. You can change things up here to suit to your liking, and this can go to a deep level. And there are multiple kinds of spices. Let's take a look. The first one is extensions. As the name suggests, these bring extended functionality or deep modifications to your desktop. Jump to the download tab and download and install popular extensions created by community. You can make the panels transparent, bring in advanced styling, use dynamic wallpapers, make your windows wobbly, and there's a lot more here. Make sure to sort by popularity and you're going to find some interesting extensions here. Then there are desklets. Desklets are widgets that sit on your desktop. A clock and a couple more are given by default here. But move over to the download tab and you get some really useful ones here. Google Calendar, this is a godsend. Desklets display many different resources like disk usage, CPU usage, RAM usage, and many more are available here. There are also weather desklets, stock market, and Bitcoin tickers. So these desklets can be really useful. Moving on, we have applets. Applets are widgets that live on the panel. Now these are very powerful. They are pretty much full-blown apps in themselves. This clock is an applet, this update manager too. There are many pre-installed applets, but you can download some really cool ones here. There's a full-blown radio with thousands of stations. This I really love. There's also a cool weather applet, download and upload speed indicator, and many more. Browse around and download what you want. Linux Mint's menu comes with a wide range of configuration options. Firstly, you can resize it, both horizontally and vertically. The default is pretty good, but you can change this to better suit to your screen size and your preferences. Then, the menu too has a favorites section. I suggest you place the apps that you use regularly, but not too frequently here. You can remove existing apps by pulling them out. You can add apps by adding them to the favorites, and you can rearrange them. I usually keep a mail client, the settings, and a few other entries here. Again, the apps you use now and then, and need them at the tip of your fingers, but not too frequently. Those apps go here on the panel. That's not all. You can right-click on the menu and click on Configure. This opens up a Pandora's box that has much deeper customization options. You can adjust various sizes, change icons, and even change around the categories here. One thing I usually change is, I set the menu to pop up as soon as I move the mouse over it. While I just save a single click, it just feels faster and more responsive. It needs a bit of practice to use it like that, but I like it. Linux Mint and almost all the Linux distros are extremely secure out of the box. Security has always been a high priority in this world. And putting up a firewall makes sure that you have another layer of security protecting you. And Linux Mint has one installed and ready to go. Turning on the firewall will better protect your system. Open firewall configuration from the menu, input your password, and just flick this switch on. Yeah, done. It's that simple. If you use torrent clients like transmission, then you need to permit it to run. That too is very simple here. Having a firewall protecting you gives you that extra peace of mind. So that's all guys for today. And hopefully you will find all these useful and let me know which one you like the most. And I see you in the next video. Bye bye.